The Christmas tree is this beautiful a cluster with all the red and blue galaxies in the foreground and the background. It's the tale of two telescopes, right? Um, we have had Hubble for 33 years and it's very good. The blue, ultraviolet, orangey, red wavelengths and then sort of in the infrared it stops. And then we have Webb which picks off at the wavelength that the eye barely can see anymore and then goes a factor of 30 further into the red. So it goes redder than red, which we call infrared. And the powerful combination of these two, which are mutually exclusive, really gives us this panchromatic, this beautiful multicolor view that you couldn't get otherwise. But it is the gift that keeps on giving because the longer you observe it, not only do you go deeper, but you will see other stars go across that infinity surface where the magnification is temporarily very high, just because the foreground cluster moves by about you know, 600 or 1,000 miles a second. It's not sitting still. It's like a swarm of bees where the bees you know, go around each other, but they move as, as, as a beehive. And, and the cluster does that too. And because of that, the gravitational landscape shifts with it. And so when the background object is fixed in the sky there, it, you will see the light of these background st stars flickering up and down. And that's what we observe. It's, it literally is like a Christmas tree where you turn on the lights and set them on blinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's currently the best combination of Hubble and Webb data for the, the very distant universe. There are plans to outdo it, to go deeper both with Hubble and, and Webb, that, that will get done on different targets. But this is currently yes, what I have seen the most colorful, panchromatic picture of the universe with great depth. The, the depth you can see here is about the amount of light or energy produced by a single firefly at the distance of the moon, with the moon not there. Yeah, so, I mean, it's pretty darn faint. It's, I think, 10 billion times fainter what the unaided eye can see, give or take. So, it's impressive. And Webb will, will outdo it, that will come. But here you get a preview, and it won't necessarily do it on these clusters, because they're already so packed, although they might. But they're going to do it in other deep fields as well.